Hello and welcome to Guten. My name is Kevin and today we're going to show you how to create products using the image editor. First, let's go to the product hub in the Guten admin. From here, we can click the add new product button. This will take you to the product catalog page where you can view all the available products in our system. We're looking to create a canvas wrap product, so we'll scroll down and find it, and afterwards we'll click select product. On this page, we can select many different options of how we want to sell our product. We'll be able to ship the product worldwide, we can also choose the wrap types, but for now we'll click image wrap. We can also choose our orientation, we'll choose square for now. Afterwards, we can select which size our product is in. We'll select 12 by 12 inch, and then click continue. This will take us to the image editor page where we can upload our design to our product and edit how our image looks on our product. When we hover over here, we can see a dotted line which represents the bleed line and a gray area which represents the face of the canvas. The white area in between are the sides of the canvas. We'll go into detail about this in a moment. Now let's upload our design. Click on the bulk upload artwork button to upload your design. If you don't have any artworks in your system, you can then click the upload new artwork button. In our case, we'll select this dinosaur design that's already in our system. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Once you have selected the design, it will appear in our image editor. Now let's explain the image editor. When we hover over our design in the image editor, we can see a green line. The green line is the safe zone and everything in the green line will be printed as the front of the canvas product. If we go to the product view, we can see that everything that was within the green line is shown as the front of the canvas wrap. Let's go back to view the print area. As you can see, there is a dotted line which is considered the bleed line. Everything between the green line and the dotted line will be printed as the sides of the canvas. If we go back to the product view, we can see that the design between the green line and the dotted line is not there and that's because it's printed at the side of the canvas. There is also the trim line, which is the outer white dotted line which shows the cut and sew line for the product. You'll have to extend your design past this line to account for any cutting margin of error. Anything outside the bleed line will not be printed on the product. Now let's take a look at a common mistake you might run into with image transparencies. Let's edit our image to zoom out and then center the image. You'll notice that it's still within the green line, but there's some white space between the design and the green line. This white space will be printed on the front of the canvas with your design. This is essentially the result of the design not filling in the entire print area. If this happens, our system will automatically add transparent pixels to make up for the smaller image size. Transparent pixels will be shown as the base color of the product once it's printed. For example, if we were printing on a black mug and our image isn't taking up the entire print area, the transparent pixel will be printed as the base color of the mug, which is black. So you want to be careful to ensure your design takes up the entire area within the green lines. Let's take a look at the product view to see the problem. Notice how the design is still printed on the front, but now we can see that there's some white space printed on the front of the canvas as well. To avoid this, you want to have your image fully taking up the space within the green lines. For now, we'll go back to our print area and fix it. We'll zoom into our image and make sure the design is covering all of the area within the green lines and it doesn't exceed the dotted lines. And then if we go back to the product view, we can see that it's fixed. There's no more white transparency space printed on the front of the canvas. After we're done, we can click on the continue button. This will take us to our mock-up page where we can see the preview of our product. Once we're happy with it, we can close out the preview and click the continue button. This will take us to our product details page where you can edit the details of the product such as the name, description, cost, and variant. You can also select which stores you want to sell this product in. Once you're ready, just click on the publish to stores button and that's it! You've just created a product using our image editor. My name's Kevin, and thank you for watching.